log in. We can, yeah, whenever, because last meeting's recording is with us, but it hasn't been published on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. no problem. We will do that. So, so we wanted to cover, you know, like I said in the message, we will cover Diwali. We will talk about um, 26th as well. Um, the inauguration of uh, the wonderful occasion of inauguration of Ram Sita Lakshman and Hanuman. <clears throat> And um, Monica ji, aapne, you know, you suggested that we should cover some the daily seva related items also. Yeah. So, so while, you know, we are here, why don't we cover that, um, you know, maybe in the first uh, 15 minutes or so. Shall we do that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So uh, I think the first thing was uh, with the key. I think that has been set up. That is excellent, isn't it? But yes. uh, have we shared the code now with everyone? So, so we are starting with the, you know, the, the, basically the daily seva subcommittee. There is a subcommittee that Manish Bhai is now leading, right? So that subcommittee has the access, um, and uh, we should uh, then just see if there is any teething issues or something that people are, you know, finding, and then we can obviously share it with the broader group. So, the, which is wonderful, by the way, that uh, that FOB system, uh, the, exactly the way we had talked about it, um, to use it, to enter, it, no need for codes, uh, the visibility issues that some devotees had also mentioned. So, hopefully it will resolve anything. Manish, by any initial feedback on that? I don't think anybody's used it because we don't have the code for the key locker. Okay. I think you, so you have I it. We, sorry? You have the code, Manish, right? Like, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't think we were told. Uh, yeah, the, we only came to know when you uh, forward that uh, video. video. So we I had know. no clue. I don't know, but Manish, I had sent you a message separately on that. Because Did that you? code, I don't want to publish it to publicly. No, oh, okay, sorry, maybe I missed it. Uh, yes. Let me check it out. Sorry about that. Because basically what I didn't want to do is publish it in a mass group so that it, because it's a security thing, we need, we should just tell it to people on a need to know basis. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is there. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yes. Excellent. So that's done. And I that's think uh, we have started we out. We started the... using it tomorrow onwards and we will see, you know, what is, yeah. The, yeah. what is the feedback and uh, it's only sort of happened in the last couple of days anyway. Yeah. So, the, yes. And the heating is all sorted out. Heating now. is all sorted out now. So heating both the things are working uh, very well. So that's one other thing. Uh, the only issue I would just say is that I think uh, because last week we went few times to the uh, to the mandir, and uh, before going to India we visited few times, and uh, I could easily see a big difference between the footfall uh, in the mandir. So I'm assuming it is because of the winter, but the thing is, I mean, it's still a festival season in for Indians. So if the, the footfall has gone down so much massively, uh, even in this time, then after after Diwali, I don't think there's going to be much, much people coming in. So my suggestion is that you know, we should promote, and the other feedback that we got last week, me and Manish, was that what people are saying is because we are doing the aarti and the puja ourselves, which which I feel is excellent. But I think what other people are feeling is that there is no difference in the feeling. Whether I mean we they do the same thing at home because everybody has their own temple, small little temple at home, and the same thing they are doing here in the temple. So they're not feeling the need to come to the temple. So, but obviously funding is a big issue, but I, I have a suggestion that we, if we could just arrange a, 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 a panditji, even for just one evening, like on the Saturday or the Sunday, which is the busiest period for, for, for the Monday, and we sort of, uh, you know, promote that, that will really go well, then people will start coming into the, uh, into the temple. Uh, and here at the moment, yeah, we're just randomly doing it. And uh, because there's less and less people coming in, then most of the uh, most of the you know slots we have, there's only one or two people going to the temple. So I, I mean, this is again my own opinion that we should sort of reduce the number of slots and just concentrate on few busy period like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and stuff. And we can we can sort of promote things. Like yesterday, uh, me and um, uh, Minakshi, 
uh, we we did bhajans and then on Saturday morning, um, uh, the, yeah, the Prakash Bhai carries on excellent like uh, this thing, uh, Hanuman Chalisa. So I think certain such things should be uh, sort of um, put together and we should be quite consistent in carrying those out yeah. and promote those. Yeah, and, and uh, I think Jyoti ji mentioned a uh, while ago uh, that uh, you know she, she could uh, ask somebody to come and do bhajan, uh, probably the same group who had come on the, you know, uh, you know on the Janmashmi occasion. So if, if we do have these kind of events, which are regular, which is different to what people do at home, will help us. And also if, if at the moment, uh, you know, uh, initially we tried having the Mandir open all the uh, seven days a week, given that we are approaching winter, not many people are going to come out of the houses. So if we reduce, we, uh, probably we focus on certain days and certain events. Uh, we could also reduce the amount of expenses, you know, currently because we don't know uh, when the, uh, uh, who's going to come. So we got hitting on for, uh, you know, a lot longer, which may not be necessary. So if, if we focus on certain uh, events and certain days, that may be a better idea. Uh, that, that's just a suggestion. Sure. So, so I think, um, see, first of all, I think we have to be very very proud and happy about the new model right because we are in very early days right it's a new mandir it's a new way of doing worship where the model is whole devotee led model and um, and i don't know if you have number of slots uh, manish bhai in terms of number of people occupying the slots every week but uh, we were running at an average of roughly 15 slots uh, every week out of 21 which i think is very very good for a new mandir new devotee led model i think that's are... gone now isn't it yeah so so in that sense i think it's a very good start i would say and um, and yes of course we have seen numbers change you know from uh, let's say when we started on 19th of august to where we are today you know less than less than two months so numbers have changed and we expected it right we said we said that schools will reopen the weather will get you know colder so we will have some reduction um, but at the same time i feel that you know all the devotees are doing a phenomenal job you know of doing this um, so that is something to be very happy and proud about what the point about footfalls increasing is something we have to address i totally agree and we have to find ways to engage the community and do things that will you know keep bringing them you know to the mandir um, the devotee led model with a full-time priest there is of course a a discussion going on in terms of a full-time priest so there is a process for visa that is uh, <clears throat> that is being undertaken and uh, we will we can you know discuss about that how long that will take because there is a certain amount of time it will take and there is a cost associated with that as well which uh, which we have thought about in terms of the cost and you know how that can be funded etc um, and i want you know anil bhai to be also here when we talk about finances uh, but that full-time priest model you know is something that you know we have to see whether we really need that because devotee led model is different is new and we will learn as we go along it will <clears throat> it's like i think of it like a startup right <clears throat> that when we are a startup we it's will like, but, uh, what we, we are talking about is more of a hybrid model rather than uh, one single model because at the moment uh, there, there are two things which are happening one as uh, monica mentioned you know uh, people are not finding any differentiation between uh, performing uh, or worshiping at home and at the temple and secondly, even the people who are there, you know, uh, who are coming to do it, they have said that now they are feeling very lonely over there. And, and they are kind of uh, a bit uh, fearful also that they are the only people in the temple. And so, you know, and uh, uh, basically we don't even have uh, any visual or any doorbell. Uh, outside so that if somebody knocks on the door they can you know have a look at it who the person is and and they don't want to be all alone in the temple sure so so we have to look at the security aspect also i i know we have an aspiration and uh, we, we definitely should be working towards it but 
as I said, you know, we should be working towards it or ra rather than making that this is our final, this is what we we are doing. No, absolutely. And I think I think we will evolve. And a hybrid model is something that Manish, we will we will have to see how it works, right? And uh, <clears throat> that's why I said that the priest work visa, the religious worker visa yeah. that we are talking about, that will, you know, come eventually. And um, we will we will discuss and maybe, you know, uh, Nabi Prabhu can also give us some some update on that the visa part because uh, that is that is getting progressed. So um, it is, but also there's uh, been a bit of a backward step. What happened was um, we made the application, and the lawyer um, failed to inform us that there will be a deadline for submitting the documents. Oh. So on Monday or Tuesday, Monday. she she emailed me saying, oh, can you please check um, on the, uh, on our, on the, our login thing, when is our deadline? Well, she has the login. She's the one who's supposed to check. Oh. She's asking me to check. Okay, I checked. It's 3rd of October. We missed it. Okay. So, uh, I mean, we had a Zoom call with her yesterday. I, I expressed my frustration. Anyway, we've written today to the Home Office that we missed the deadline. Now, normally you'd have to wait a few months before you reapply. So we've written to the uh, Home Office saying we've missed the deadline, but we want to make an application uh, immediately. So please allow us to do that. So that's it's a bit of a um, uh, it's a bit of a shame because if we had submitted the documents on third of October, the process would have started very quickly. But now, I mean, this is, of course, at the end of the day, there's something higher than us controlling all of this. Yeah. You know, we can't get too frustrated. Um, I did actually express my, you know, I, I said, to her, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I shouldn't, but I was there witnessing it. <laughs> so apart from that, there's a delay there. Um, but he also uh, is not uh, necessarily, well, we have to talk to him as a committee. And I think um, leading that charge will be uh, yourself, uh, Sachin, assisted by Manish, etc. <clears throat> exactly what his role is going to be, so that he's clear. Yeah, yeah. But it's going to take a little longer. Now there is another person coming. He's not a priest, but he is Selvin's father, mm. and he has expressed an interest to be at the temple for quite long periods of time. Oh, that, yeah. that's very good. Yeah. That, and that he's coming at the end of October, hopefully. And he is uh, Tama, Tamil speaking. Uh, he also speaks English, but uh, mainly Tamil is his focal, focal language. Hmm. Um, and also, I, yeah, so that that may well assist us in, in you know, making sure there's some manpower. Because I, I understand what you're saying, Manish. And we somehow we've got to you know, maintain the seva and it, perhaps encourage others to, to maintain their seva. Home worship and temple worship are two different things. Um, yes, definitely. But I think uh, if there is, like, as you're saying, this person, even if he comes, like, one or two days or something and, you know, does, performs the proper sort of puja, that will definitely make a difference. And then when we as uh, devotees ourselves are also continuing to do it. So it will be a combination of the two, which will definitely, I feel that will give uh, much more uh, this thing to our uh, push to our mandir. Okay. Mm. Uh, and especially like when we do the Gita uh, part, I mean, which is excellent. And we all do devotees, whoever will go for that. They do it every every day. But the thing is, most of us do not know how to sort of recite. pronounce and recite in Sanskrit. Um, and don't even get the proper understanding and meaning of yeah. what we are, uh, yeah. you know, reading. It, it's, it feels more like a parrot just, just speaking doing it. something yeah. without getting the feeling <laughs> of it. Okay. Yeah. Whereas on Sunday evening, there's a, a lady who's, who was a teacher and she's a retired teacher. Uh, she's also Tamil and she she does it so well. I mean, you know, and that that sort of thing makes a difference. So it's yeah. not necessary. It has to be a proper full-fledged uh, um, pandit. Mm -hmm. okay? Good, good, good. Somebody who will look different to our, our, our general people, like, you know, general mm -hmm. devotees. That itself will make a difference. <laughs>
I'm happy to also take on one evening when maybe Friday or something. Maybe Friday evenings when yeah. perhaps more of us gather and yeah. have a bit of a training session, uh, more than just a, a saver, but we also because mm -hmm. I'm so happy uh, with Sachin and all of you actually because you've taken on something which um, is new and it's a challenge and uh, you know without a priest, but. It'll, there will be growing pains, of course. You know, of course. It, will, it will take, and we will make mistakes. We'll make loads of mistakes on the way, which is fine. We're allowed to make mistakes. It's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think that session will be helpful, you know, like to what Manish and Monica said, that people can understand, you know, the, the reading, you know, from a Bhagavad Gita yeah. point of view. So I think... Um, let us find a slot when we can get together and Abhiji can help us, all of us, right? Happy. Yeah, Happy. yeah. especially with Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if we can every evening, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if we can have such slots okay. and then we can sort of promote those, that will really make a difference. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah we can do Friday because I can do the Aarti and you know, you can have the Gita sessions as well and things like that. Friday evenings. Yeah. Yeah in the mandir and yeah. just one other thing uh, any any update on that uh, sign board uh, and uh, and the board where we can sort of put down the, the the timings and what sessions we are having in the mandir that is again very useful because quite a few people who walk in they have said that they don't even realize what what building is the mandir mm. so they're sometimes hesitant because the door is closed so they don't want to sort of knock and all that yeah yeah so so we are waiting for a quotation uh monica from uh we've got the uh, the voting that we did in the group right all the committee members yeah, yeah we've done that yeah so we got that uh, vote and we've got the sign uh agreed which sign so we're just waiting for a quotation on that and then uh we will put it forward and get that going okay so so there is a there is a quotation expected um which which should come to us soon yeah and as soon as it comes, I will I will put it on the committee, and then we can uh, take that uh, forward, right? And I agree, you know yeah. that identity, that uh, that building, you know the mandir sign, beautiful mm. sign that we voted on. Uh, we have to put it together. It becomes easy for people to recognize. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, um, so. Uh, so some of the devotees, you know, somebody, you know, Manish, you also mentioned that if there are people feeling lonely, maybe yeah. just one suggestion is that we could tell them to maybe take a different slot, for example, right? Um, because I understand evenings can get a little bit uh, darker now. Uh, and and it takes, you know, we also get time to adjust it. But if some devotees are saying that maybe if there is another slot that works for them, we can at least suggest to them. And uh, we will also publicize more so that we can ask people to uh, sign up for more slots. Uh, yes. And the other thing um, that I'm, you know, right now working on, there are two more. Um, there is a, you know, Dhanrajji, who you know is a tabla, wonderful tabla player. He is going to run mm. tabla lessons and singing lessons at the mandir. Uh, so he's just finalizing the details. So we will publish that. And Supriya Kamat ji is going to run yoga lessons in the mandir as well. So she's also, you know, finalizing, I'm working with her. So these two things will come and more such activities, you know, and ideas that everyone can think of that we can run at the mandir. It will help with the new devotees getting, uh, getting attached and involved. And then obviously, you know, that whole footfall word of mouth will spread and we will grow the community. Right. I, I, uh, that, that'll be very good. Uh, just one reservation I have, and probably if Nabiji or you yourself can help with that, because Supriya ji sounded very rigid in her beliefs, and that may not work, at least not uh, in these initial stages. And if she's going to conduct yoga lessons, but on the other hand, she's going to want people to follow her rigid norms, that, that uh, may not serve the purpose. Yeah, so, Rich, in what sense, uh, Richard, very quickly. So basically she was very apprehensive of people wearing leather belts and things like this coming into the temple, you know, and, and yeah. nowadays, you know, having somebody without 
uh, leather belt. Yeah. That, that, that is something, you know, it, it's difficult to implement, you know. Yeah. You, you know, you're wearing trousers and you need a belt and the f uh, first thing that you go for is a leather belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, see, so, I don't have my so, my view on that, and Nabiji can add, but my view on that is these are committee matters for us to discuss, right? right. And nobody outside the committee, you know, has any sort of say on these matters. No, I, I agree on that, Sachinji. But if Supriya ji is going to say that, you know, when uh, she's organizing a yoga lesson and she insists that you know you can do only this or you this is how you can dress up. It will discourage people. Hmm. So that, that, that be, is all. See, that will only be for the yoga lessons, right? So yoga lesson typically is expected to have maybe eight or ten people, and in any one session, right? She is doing that with a you know uh, with all the proceeds going to the mandir. She is not absolutely. Uh, asking, no, I I, not I, I appreciate that. that. Um, Satyajit, I appreciate that. But if she's going to say that people who are coming for the lesson should not be wearing X, Y, and Z things. Then, then to get even those eight to ten people will be difficult. I can talk to her, um, and uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's in a situation that uh, you know it's a startup, and yes, that's a fantastic uh, place we want to be in due course of time. But exactly, not the right time at this moment. I, I'll talk to her. She's coming on Sunday. I'll uh, try to grab a few minutes with her. Otherwise, I will just phone her. Uh, beforehand if such and if that's okay otherwise we can talk to her together i'm no. happy with that as well. absolutely fine yeah Prabhu. so we can speak to her on sunday maybe um, for the yoga lesson she may not be that rigid i mean she was just i mean that they're talking about more on the monday side so i mean but, uh, yeah. since it's happening in the monday so uh, yes yeah that, but, that is, uh, uh, she, she was like you know you shouldn't mm -hmm. get uh, these things into the monday uh, the only thing I would just add is that not just specific to this thing, but all the events that we'll do it uh, in the month there, is that before we do anything, we need to have the health and safety procedure in place. I think Anilji has also highlighted, but that is the most important thing uh, because sometimes what we have noticed is uh, the fire exit door is sometimes blocked with the table and all that, uh, and there is no fire exit signs at the moment. They so, are at the top. Um, they're, they're there now? They're, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. At the top, you, we have got those. We've got those. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they've always been there. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, 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 except that we don't have is uh, regulations put in place, like what is a meeting point. What is a meeting point and all that. And, yes. and, and that uh, there's a CCTV you mm -hmm. know, over there, so we don't have those kind of and things. Especially which needs if, to be there. if youngsters would come, I mean, children and youngsters would come for any session. That is the most, we, we shouldn't be giving it uh, for any of the things with, without putting all this in place because, yeah, we can be prosecuted if something goes wrong and we don't want that. Very true, very true. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree with that. So so we have uh, we have to put those, uh, you know, things like meeting points on the from a fire safety point of view. Mm. Um, and also that there is CCTV inside the temple. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so we will have one action item on that, uh, uh, Manish, on uh, to get that uh, uh, some of the regulations po uh, put on a poster in the in the mandir, yeah. so that people know where the meeting point is. And, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, so let's take that up in the in the sort of uh, one of the action items from this, right? So that Thank is absolutely you. needed. Thank you. And uh, so yeah, so 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 okay. Um, any other points uh, we will we will cover with Supriya ji on Sunday uh, on sure. the yoga side of things. Yeah. And, and hopefully, you know, any yeah. other ideas, what I would say to all the committee members also is that if there are things we can run at the mandir in terms of increasing footfalls, uh, some sessions like this, like music lessons, yoga lessons that, you know, bring Absolutely. them forward, you know, talk to the devotees and, you know, we can we can get some things going. Right. Cool. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wonderful. So Anil Bhai is here. Hi Krishna. Anil Bhai. Hi Krishna. So we were just covering few points from the daily seva, you know, issues, uh, Anil Bhai, just uh, before you joined. Yeah. And uh, we've, I think, covered now. Anything else that we need to cover? Uh, shall I move to the Diwali, Diwali part? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful. So, so on Diwali, right? Uh, let me um, 
So first of all, Diwali 22nd of October. So we have um, Dr. Jyoti is not here. I was hoping she'll be able to join, but um, but she's not here. Actually, uh, since Kanchanwen is here, uh, I thought let me just talk about because everybody is uh, so that everyone is aware about the 23rd also. Kanchanwen, do you want to? How are you? Oh, good. Thank you. Hare Krishna, everybody. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Yeah. Kanchanwen, 23rd, um, do you want to just share what is the what is the you know plan that you have in mind? for 23rd it's still on paper sketching yeah. the ideas but it just sort of aligning with the idea of increasing footfall and doing something related to um like celebrating and bringing everybody together so dhanvantri jayanti is just, just symbolizes on obviously it is on dhanteras which is the 23rd i'm not uh, expecting huge turnaround but i was thinking about invitees only event Hmm. which then I, you know, introducing people to the mandir and they will be, yeah, but I'm, I'm not too sure because 10 to 12 is the time I thought I could do this, like maximum two hours, people will be just coming in, meeting, we will do some diva, you know, diva lighting up and something. And that's all I thought so far. But if it goes well with the committee and if it is aligning with the idea of committee, then only we can go ahead, obviously. But it's not something to promote anything or something. It was pure intention was just introducing new people. Yeah. Uh, maybe um, people from different community organizations and stuff. I was thinking about that, that line, to be honest. Um, yeah, but yeah. That, no, that's absolutely. So this is, um, <laughs> you know, we had discussed this, and uh, so it is absolutely, you know, okay, and it's a, it's a, it's a good occasion to celebrate, and um, you know, uh, so whenever you want, whenever you're ready, you know, Kanchanwen, you can publish, uh, and uh, you know, within the committee, I think uh, uh, that's that's not a problem. I just thought, since uh, last time we couldn't cover it, uh, so I thought let me just uh, have this topic in this meeting so that everyone is aware as well. No, wonderful. Yeah, sorry, I'm just. Uh, this is related to the last point you raised about um, when people gather in and uh, Manishji and Manika ji raised about. Uh, having, I thought having a risk assessment form for every event would be helpful. And um, first aider, that was just clicked in my mind. We need to have a appointed first aider, I guess, at every event. So just adding on to that point. Yeah, actually, that, that that's also a very good point. And probably we may need a first aid kit in, because we have yeah. it's, uh, it's a public uh, place. Yep. Sure. So risk assessment form when when you say Kanchanji, what do you mean? Is there like a like an activity we need to do for every event? Um, Usually, that is what required uh, by any venue when we organize any um, you know any any event, X number of people, and it's a yeah. community event. All the venue ask to fill in a risk assessment form. It's purely for the purpose mm -hmm. of how many people are coming in. And sort of what activities are you serving the food? Have you got insurance in place? All those. If that is ticked, um, and if if there's something goes wrong, basically you are covered by that sense. And you by doing that form actually it helps the organization very well to know what the trigger points are, what we could do differently. So it's good for having a template. I can share the template I have for um, many events. We have used it. So you have how many footfall activities depending on that because our events are very varied sometimes it just budget and sometimes it could be potentially a activity which involves kids isn't it yeah. so having a risk assessment depending on that sort of nature of that event would definitely help us and cover us as well yeah if you can uh, send the template uh, containment to the committee group then we can we can take a look at that and what we need to do from a mandir because mandir venue is basically us uh, you know we are managing it and yep. uh, whatever we need to do we will uh, we will take a look at that and would this also encapsulate a, a booking form for the for any event the, the risk assessment and booking form would they go together booking form sorry i didn't get that well when somebody wants to have an event they would need to book the the, the center and to do that there should be a form which yes would... 
yeah i got you what you mean yeah usually when we hire a venue yes mm -hmm. you're right so it is been sent at the same point of confirming that event yeah makes sense yeah, yeah. thank you okay um so we will keep it at that uh, thanks gentlemen uh, for sharing the details of 23rd um and you know uh, we can keep it in that format now just coming to diwali let me share my screen if that's okay so so i hope people can share my screen uh, see my screen yes um, yes so we, we roughly we start basically it's a 5 to 8 you know kind of an agenda where uh, we start with the uh, you know the the ganpati stuti at uh, 5 5 pm we we did swagatam dance uh, you know last year when we did this so it is on similar lines we have damodar aarti uh, prabhu uh, navi prabhu if um, you are okay with that yeah. um we will do bhajans and kirtans uh, for you know and we have some good uh, bhajan singers amongst us who are very enthusiastic ram leela uh, for about 30 minutes um, navi prabhu this is yeah. something i was hoping that uh, you can you know do um i can but yeah. last time we had priti sorry uh, priti, priti yes priti yeah priti so how i and i think either sanjana or you know the plan was somebody else would uh, do it so that they get the experience and um uh i i'm happy to do it but you know it's just good if um yeah, we yeah. get others to also uh take on this because it's such a nice uh, thing to do anyway so sanjay and i will be down from cardiff um, Whoa. fantastic that's wonderful that that's wonderful. so prabhu i'll speak to priti ji actually i that's a good point it did not uh, i will talk to priti about this um, about ramlila and um, then we have some bhajans you know another uh, 15 minutes and then we have half an hour for dances uh, i was uh, i will discuss dr jyoti i have had a discussion with her but uh, not in detail so so i will speak to her uh, i was hoping she'll be able to make it today but um, but we will align with her um, so that's uh, about till till 7:15 and uh, then i was thinking prabhu we we should do a little session on live you know uh, presenting a journey of the of the mandir and you know the future you know so coming up events like um, uh, mm. ram sita lakshman hanuman inauguration and uh, the plans for the deities coming to the mandir kind of thing and also have an appeal for fundraising uh, for about 15 minutes sure no, i i was thinking yeah that's good um maybe i'm happy if, if you want to lead that and okay. you know, I'll, i'll support you sure uh, um you know and you know we can we can work out uh, you know how to present it uh, happy happy for you to take that you yeah because i thought there'll be lots of devotees who will be present and it will be good to give them that view of the mandir um mm. some of them you know uh, may or may not have been to the mandir yet Mm -hmm. so it will be good, good to give them the road map also yeah definitely and uh, then we have half an hour for dinner which is uh, the devotees you know we we have the devotees prepare the prasad and then we leave an hour in the end for cleaning up uh, cleaning up the mandir right so that's the that's the agenda uh, any thoughts suggestions sorry you might hear some piano in the background <laughs> <laughs> that's my son <laughs> no agenda look, yeah agenda looks good yeah yeah it's quite uh, you know in that sense it is uh, we had a good event last year so it's not uh, very different from last year and um, you know of course we have the mandir now so that's a big uh, big plus and uh, we will use that to engage uh, more and more um, I had a suggestion from Nimit uh, on when I was talking to him about fireworks we thought about it but from a health and safety point of view we really don't want to you mm -hmm. know uh, get into those kind of discussions 
so i have kept that uh, kept that out and and do we have the whole to decorate the night before yes that's a good point so the hall decoration we will have from 8:30 pm uh, on 21st october so the previous okay. night um and uh, we can use maybe an hour or so for for decorating the hall the previous night we have the confirmation on that as okay. well yeah mm -hmm. just one thing i wanted to say regarding the invite that we will be sending uh, for you know your send the first initial thing uh, for the diwali invite yeah yeah there it doesn't mention can we just mention on behalf of the mandir course you know something of that sort which mm -hmm. specifies our mandir also okay okay so if you if you drop me a line and uh, we will get that text included uh, monica on that what is the text and i'll get that included because I, we want to we want to uh, really start pushing out that uh, uh, yes. that poster so that people can start registering um, and as we had discussed last week uh, not last week but the last meeting we are keeping it free to register keeping in mind the cost of living uh, you know crisis that people are going through um, and uh, for for the for the attendees it will be free but there are super donors that we have for uh, for this event like we discussed in the last meeting who will be sort of donating 150 pounds each uh, the three super donors uh, that we had last meeting uh that is how it will be uh, the cost will be covered for that only thing with free events is people um register and because they haven't paid anything it it sort of um, for many many people it becomes valueless you know, and they may come they may not come so i think uh, when we are looking at the sort of catering numbers we just bear that in mind you know that um yeah uh, many people may not uh, turn up you know, if they pay you a pound or two pounds or five pounds they're more likely to come than if they don't pay anything so the only thing i think is uh, we just got to be mindful i think it's a very good idea to do it uh, free and especially as you said you know cost of living issue we want to have this wonderful festival free for everybody it's a fantastic uh, move uh, i have to say yeah i think even I, i agree i mean with the thing because uh, we can just charge nominal like 5 pound per head or 10 pounds for the whole family irrespective of how many people come in the family so at least that way is there's some commitment from this yeah side. otherwise as yeah as the busy said you know um, uh, first of all people may register and may not turn up and uh, so so it will be very difficult to make sure that we have enough food for everybody yeah and also because we because we are also very busy that weekend because obviously that's the weekend just before diwali so many people would have commitment um, commitments that, yeah, already already so it will be good that we have a nominal thing if we can easily then I it will give us a true figure basically i think now that we made a decision no. like exactly yeah. see yeah. i mean we discussed this in last meeting right manish monika yeah. i mean you guys were there in the meeting so we have made the decision i'm not i don't think we will change it now no yeah. don't change it yeah. and this is how we learn this is how we learn let's see what happens it mm -hmm. might be that everybody turns up you know they register and turn up which would be phenomenal and they, you never know so but it's just uh, in our experience we we always found free events people just register you know really nilly and don't bother turning up <laughs> no no true true prabhu and that is a valid point and uh, we recognize that uh, uh, at the same time you know the the whole cost of living and there was a lot of you know almost yeah. half an hour 40 minutes last meeting we were discussing this point yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. we will yeah. and like you said prabhu we will probably make mistakes and we will learn from them and uh, in this case uh, that decision has been made and we will stick to that and we will hope that uh, the dropouts will be less yeah um, could we uh, could i make a suggestion um, mm. uh, yes hari krishna hari. you know just to uh, uh, in the poster i don't know how when we send the posters out could we just say that you know please rsvp or you know register only if you are definitely attending to avoid wasting food 
Uh, Otherwise, we'll charge you 20 quid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a request, right? People, if people register, they should turn up. Otherwise, don't register. True. True. That's a. That's... You know, we can make provision for extra plates, but we the other way around. It's it's always you know so far my learning has been that we have always last minute we had to kind of take home or arrange for homeless something we have done and maybe you know this time also I'll give a heads up to Janki ji that we might have spare spare food. She's not in the country. <laughs> oh, there you go. So. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I agree, Rajiv. I, I mean, you know, those memories are fresh, right, from Janmashtami, where we had lots of food left um, um, and we had to give away to people. But we still managed to give it away, yes. But uh, I agree, it has to be optimum. And we will include a clear message saying that, um, you know, wherever, to all of us, you know, we will be promoting that event, all of us in our uh, networks and WhatsApp groups. Yeah. Yeah. So we should include that. Um, I will send out one message tonight with all the sort of, uh, you know, message and then um, and then we can start pushing it in our networks. Right? Oh, brilliant. If you if you send that, because I can then just copy that and send it to all yeah. of our. Very good. Thank you. I'll send I'll send one out tonight. Uh, Prabhu, on that. Thank you. With Wonderful. The, yeah. So that's the that's the plan for uh, for uh, for Diwali. We will we will have the food menu. I haven't yet had the food volunteers agreed on that, but uh, we will start uh, you know discussing with them and we will allocate uh, the responsibilities for food as well. Uh, Doctor Jyoti has created a specific WhatsApp group for Prasad preparation also uh, for Diwali. So so I'm sure some of you are on that uh, group and uh, you will see some messages coming through on that uh, for so we will we will plan for prasad the preparation according to that okay um, any other points uh, for diwali for now uh, of course we are, you know a uh, lot of us are meeting up on on sunday evening in the mandir we will we can discuss a bit more there but any other points related to diwali for now from anybody If not, then uh, then I will move on to 26th. 26th is the day when we are planning to do the inauguration of uh, beautiful deities, uh, Ram, Sita, Lakshman and Hanuman. Uh, we have the Pujari, you know, the uh, blocked uh, from an availability point of view. We had a few discussions, obviously, previously we had planned this for 24th, but for reasons that we have discussed in our WhatsApp group, uh, which I will not uh, repeat here we had to move the date you know there were some aspects related to that so now 26th is confirmed uh, we've also had uh, input from the priest that uh, 11 20 am uh, if i can remember correctly is the right is a good mahurt for that uh, inauguration right so so around that time is what we will plan the puja will be roughly around two hours uh, the previous inauguration, obviously, we were inaugurating the mandir as well as the deities, so it was a bit longer, uh, and uh, you know, but that's the rough estimate, so they're not a hard and fast uh, number. So that's happening on twenty uh, sixth, right? We recognize it's uh, it's midweek, but uh, uh, we will not be preparing like a separate, you know, mass poster because uh, it will be a select set of invitees to whom we will you know individually send invitations and uh, and that's how we will sort of manage the overall capacity for this event it's a midweek so you know there will be some you know availability issues that people will have but it's a wonderful occasion uh, the new year the new year would have gone because 24th is diwali 25th is new year so 26th uh, is also an auspicious occasion you know govardhan puja is there on that day so it's a beautiful uh, day uh, and people would have done with their commitments on diwali and new year so so there'll be both factors so midweek will cause a little bit of less availability but uh, since it's a festive uh, you know occasion we will hope to get a reasonable number of people you know of devotees for that uh, occasion <clears throat> can we um 
I mean, I wouldn't mind if we are able to send an invitation um, generally, but asking if anybody does want to come, you need to contact us. Uh, I, I, you know, for my contacts, I'll put my name. Yeah. So that we then uh, work out who is sort of, you know, if somebody says, yes, I want to come, then um, we can judge at that time whether this person, because one thing we want to try to do is, is if we can raise some funds, mm. it'll be good. Um, you know, some people who who quite wealthy may say, yes, I want to come. And I might just say to them, look, would you be able to give a donation? Mm. Uh, if somebody wants to come, they can't afford anything. You know, I, I, I think we should um, open it up to them, subject to space and subject to, um, uh, you know, like uh, how many we've, we've got on board already. So I don't know what do you think. I'm open, by the way, to any suggestions. Yeah, so, so probably we can we can maybe draft an invitation because then because the groups that we have are quite large right we have almost 200 devotees in our mandir groups yeah um so we can uh, we can do that we can i guess send the message and ask them to contact um, we will have to draft the language you know carefully because yeah. it's a it's a it's an announcement but not an invitation exactly right so exactly right. so we will have to yeah we will have to think of it like that um what we could just say is that it'll be on first come first serve basis because of the you know, space constraints or whoever then we can if we have to say no to people later on then we've got that we got option. that excuse yeah good one good one i like that yeah so just to say, will... unfortunately, I, I and Hena will not be able to attend that day. I, I'm actually not going to be in town, and I think Hena's that's one of her working days. So we are, unfortunately we will not be able to participate. That's two more people anyway who can come. <laughs> <laughs> no, understand, uh, Hanil Bai, and I think um, uh, those of us from the committee who um, obviously all of us should try and make it, but those of us who can't, then hopefully in the evening you know when the mandir opens for the darshan i think uh, we, mm. should, we should try and make it um, if we can mm. otherwise of course throughout the you know coming days the mandir will be you know open and we can do the darshan of uh, ram sita lakshman and hanuman so so we will um, so so prabhu in that uh, do we need to make a poster for that or do we write some text for the invitation for the i don't think we need a poster uh, i think no no it's okay because what i can do is maybe i can take some clips of sita ram yeah. and we can like what i did for janmashmi or radha krishna just show little clips who's coming somebody's coming you know sita ram lakshman Anuman, and um um, in that way, we just put the, and in that uh, context, we put the text, basically. Sure. sure. And, uh, you know, given maybe the attendance will be somewhere between, I mean, it's very difficult to take a call on that, but, uh, but let's mm -hmm. say we'll be anywhere between 40 to 80 people, you know, uh, something like yeah. that, right? So like we had done for, uh, for the Radhisham inauguration, shall we get some mithai boxes prepared, um, something yeah. to give to the deities as an occasion for that day? Yeah, hey, I think it'd be a good thing. What do you think? Mm. Yeah, if possible, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, we will, we will, we will find, we will find devotees, uh, you know, to, yeah. to volunteer. I think that'll be good. Yeah, if we get uh, like uh, I know I know Anibhen will do something, mm. uh, and um, there's like Ashwini, and I'm sure they'll be quite keen to do something. If we ask them in advance, Kajal, Kanchan, <laughs> Lakshmi. Hmm. So we will make a note of the action item for that. Uh, that we will we will prepare some laddu boxes 
for that inauguration and uh, and we we need to have some prasad uh, like uh, like a lunch time because this will be a lunch time activity uh, for that uh, as well yes, yes. good point yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we will we will have some devotees prepare you know uh, like a lunch lunch menu uh, mm. which we can discuss offline uh, yeah. and then we can allocate we can find volunteers to prepare the the lunch prasad yeah for that in the on similar lines as diwali but we will divide the work so that uh, you know devotees have uh, because these events are close uh, 22nd and 26th um, so we will we will find devotees who can help contribute on both both days mm -hmm. makes sense so so roughly you know um i will drop a timeline for 26th also i haven't really you know done that yet uh, i was a little bit more focused on diwali for now um but but roughly we will we will get there around uh, 10 a.m uh, prabhu uh, i was thinking uh, or or 9 a.m i think pujari i will try to get him there before i'd say before 9 we we'll give him that space to do all of his setup, uh, <laughs> setup yeah, yeah. Because it's quite elaborate what he does. It does take time, and it's good. What he does is very, very good. So probably get there before nine. But if you come tenish, uh, does he say we have to? St we we start the puja eleven twenty, right? We start it. Puja mahurtam is eleven twenty, is what what the priest said. So, so we start at eleven twenty. Uh, Ten o'clock is good. Yeah. So we will have these preparations started, you know, before nine. And then we will go on till uh, you know uh, around uh, after lunchtime uh, to finish. Mm -hmm. So, so from a planning point of view, let's say roughly what nine a.m. to two p.m., three p.m., something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all. And we will do some maybe some bhajans and um, Ram Sita Lakshman bhajans uh, mm -hmm. and yeah. some narration as well, Prabhu, in that as part of that day. Uh, Yes, uh, on Govardhan Puja as well. We can talk about Govardhan. Govardhan Puja. I'll set up a Govardhan um, uh, uh, hill and, you know, so everyone get, gets an idea what uh, what it's all about as well. Sure. Because I hadn't really worked on the agenda for that. So this, this gives me some points and, you know, I will craft the agenda for 26th. Uh, I'll put together these bullets. And then I can publish it in the uh, in the committee group. Mm. So, so Govardhan Puja we will do. We will of course do the inauguration. We oh. will have uh, some bhajans uh, and 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 maybe a narration on the on the Govardhan as well. Is that okay, Janti? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That yeah. will be good. Okay. Um, so so twenty sixth is uh, is the you know big day for for the and i think this is a really really big occasion because that Huge. um you know will bring new deities to the mandir it's a it's a wonderful wonderful occasion for all of us um mm -hmm. to do and there will be some changes that we will need to incorporate in the puja procedure as well prabhus because then it will become you know for both uh, ram sita lakshman hanuman and radhesham today our procedures are documented mainly from a uh, Radhisham yeah. perspective, right? Because uh, after that, it will be both of them. We can um, maybe uh, do again what we did before, have a little training session, which we record, um, because that will be also a recap uh, of uh, what we're doing. The changes won't be huge. Because mm. um, it's basically what you do for Radhisham, you uh, duplicate that for Sitaram as well. So you mm. do one set and then you do the other set. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it won't be too much different. Mm. And of course, we could even uh, say, look, now we need two pujaris. <laughs> so then the, the loneliness factor goes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, of course, that's going to be challenging. <laughs> yeah, changes may not be big, but I think it'll still be good to document them because there are, because yeah. it's a devotee-led model. So everyone, like you said, we will record a video and we will maybe update that puja procedure document also, so that people have uh, because lots of people will have questions. Okay, now what we do and they will have yeah, this... who do we do first and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Or even, I don't know whether it will be feasible, but Joe Pujari ji, who's going to come uh, for the sthapna, if we can just do a small, ask him to do the, how do we do the puja? And we can do a vid, uh, video of that. Uh, that will be more impressive because obviously the Pujari ji is showing us how to do it. Thing is, he'll have probably a, a different procedure. Uh, that's the thing, yeah. We want to, we've kept it uh, extremely simple. Um, yeah, and we want that, doesn't it? Yeah. At this stage, I mean, in in future, we, you know, we can hopefully make it a little bit more elaborate. But I think yeah. at, stages, at this stage, we want simples for people to follow it, doesn't it? Yeah. And are you, uh, just a very quick question. I'm sorry, Sachi. Yeah. Are, are you finding it easy in terms of the procedure of this puja? Uh, Monica? Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, the way, I mean, the way, yeah, the way we do it, it's really nice. And I mean, I like it that we do it ourselves, but yes. And it is nice and simple and we should keep it that way so that people can follow it. Okay. Same for me. And I feel the same way, you know, that uh, it's quite simple and it's uh, easy and it's spiritual and it's very blissful. You know, the, every time I do that in the mandir, it's really, really satisfying. And soothing, you know, I feel that uh, every time I do that at the mandir. So it's really good to hear. Mm -hmm. Even actually, just one person feeling that is makes it a whole. It makes it all worth it. Mm -hmm. So you guys really bringing uh, great joy to my heart. <laughs> Especially the prasad that we get, you know, all the sweets I mean, <laughs> making us fat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I have to tell Pilkesh Bhai to get less prasad. He gets so much prasad every Saturday. <laughs> that <laughs> we, like, <laughs> it is, uh, it is really, really nice. No, it's amazing. Uh, just one thought. I'll forget. That otherwise, if I don't say it, uh, you know, uh, for the Diwali event, um, and previously we had done some uh, sort of uh, posters and stuff about our, our Mandir. So is there anything left there? We can distribute it because there'll be a lot more people coming for the Diwali mm. event who yeah. won't know about our Mandir. So if that is anything left or we can, you know, uh, uh, put together some more to distribute and we can just say, oh, do you know about our Mandir? If they say no, then you can just hand it over to them as to where it is and how it is. We, we all have those um, uh, magazines, which we can also give out. We ha still have all these boxes, but probably four or five boxes which we can bring to the Diwali event. But I think uh, a well. one-pager uh, yeah. is a very, very good idea. Um, if we put the times on there, of course, we'll, we'll need to caveat it that if you want to come and visit Ring before you come or something. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's a good idea, mm. Monica. So a one-pager about the Mandir. Monica, did you have in mind what, I mean, I haven't seen that. Is that something you said we had prepared before or something that we should prepare? Yeah, before? at the time of inauguration of the mandir, you know, we had put it in uh, the shops and all also, I thought, did we not do it then? That Which was told the, the mandir, Janmashtami, that was the Janmashtami poster. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Janmashtami this year, sorry, yeah, the time. <laughs> was that the little card? Yeah. I don't know. I had not seen. I don't know what was, uh, but in the meeting, we had the discussion that we were yeah, going yeah. to... So we, I remember that very well because we went around, you know, putting it in shops. So there was yeah. a A4 size poster yeah. and yes, there yeah. was A6 slide side flyer. You know, we had two yes, sizes. Something like that. Yeah. And uh, in very few numbers, we had printed uh, A3 as well. Very small number of large posters. But those were all about, uh, it spoke about Janmashtami, you know, mm. so. Oh, okay. Was, all right. Uh, yes, the posters. So yeah, if it's something similar, which will just tell about Mandir and the opening time and, you know, some things that we have already put forward, like, uh, like uh, Hanuman Chalisa that we do on Saturdays and Gita part and all that. So we can just, we can add that. So just people know what, what all happens at the Mandir. Mm. Yeah, so. So, you know, if somebody can, you know, just take that and, you know, put a page, one pager, then, I, you know, I'll get it uh, printed and we can get it uh, on the Diwali day, you know. So, so maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, somebody can put, you know, what it should look like. Uh, Monica, if you want to take a shot at that. And then I can oh. get that uh, printing organized because it's new. It's a good idea. Like Navi Prabhu also said, it's a very good idea. 
Uh, yeah. but I mean, probably thought Sanjana, I don't know whether she'll have time, but if she could do it, I mean, the youngsters would be much better off doing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sanjana is now a little bit busy with her uh, university, yeah. etc. Uh, and she's here. Yeah, she's going. She's going to say whether no, I mean, she can I, or can't. I think. Well, so <laughs> if, I, if we um adapt, so I know on the on the back of the John Marshman process, we had a little bit of where the mother was and what our intention was with it. So that we can keep. Yeah. Um, and then maybe if we adapt on the stuff, I know we haven't gone over that right up that I sent you, but maybe we can pull some things from there. Um, and then just condense it and put it on there. So you, about the Hanuman Chalisa, about how people are opening them on every uh, the timings. Um, yes. I think there are a few paragraphs in there about how it's been going and operating. So I can just pull from there and condense it. And make it like an A4 A4 size poster kind of a thing. Um, yeah, yeah, I can put it that? into into the poster, the Canva that I use anyway. Um, yeah. But I'll send you a draft in like Word before I put it in Canva. Brilliant, sure. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So, so Sanjana, if you can work with Monica on that, and um, you know, get something, we will, we will, we will look at that, and then we can print it quickly and see, you know, uh, how we can place it in the Diwali Diwali event so people can take it away with them. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Sanjana. Thank you, Sanjana. Wonderful. So, so that is that for now. Any any other matters that we need to cover? Anil Bhai, I know we wanted to discuss the financial renting charges and you know the higher charges yeah. that we you and you and I spoke about. Right? Do you want to do that now? Shall we do that now or do you think it takes some time to do it next meeting? Maybe I, don't know. I think it will kick off some discussion. That's yeah. that's my only... yeah. Why don't uh, we do that? Why don't we take some opinions in this meeting, you know, and and take some take some suggestions from the committee members, right? Because still a draft, yeah. So, so if I can share my screen, thousand pound an hour would, would be good. Oh, host disabled participant sh screen sharing. Oh, 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 hang on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. go yep. for it. Yeah. Yeah. And also, let's make him co host. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yep. Be able to do it now. So, Oh, I need to do some systems preferences. Just give me a second. System preferences. I don't know what you have to do. Uh, I think you need to enable, you need to basically give um, Zoom permission to share your screen. Has it gone straight? Oh, it's not taking it away. You should have permission. Uh, yeah, 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 I just need to do something on my computer. Yeah, it's a computer. Um, okay, okay. Maybe desktop and screensaver? I don't know. No, it's not that. General. Type in permissions. Preferences error. No, oh, I don't know. No. Do you usually share your screen on Zoom, right? Yeah, I normally don't have to do anything from vision wise. It just allows me to do it. So uh, you shouldn't need to do anything. Yeah. Uh, let me close and close the show and try again. So while while Anil Bhai is doing that, uh, Prabhu, I just thought I'll mention the Sunday evening. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. we have about uh, twenty five chairs uh, between uh, uh, Ravi and I. You know, we have discussed, so we'll have about twenty five chairs yeah. arranged. Yeah. Enough. That should be enough, right? Uh, and rest yeah. of it, we will use the cushions. Yeah. Um, depending on you know. Yes, uh, that's good. I think it's um, when it came up in the box, it said where we go to as well. It might have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Oh, yeah. So then now you have to click on the lock. Now click that. Thank you.
you have to um, quit and reopen. Record the contents of your screen until it is quit. Yeah, you have to leave the meeting. Okay, I'm back. just going to leave and come back. Okay. 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 So Ravi, for those extra chairs, we will we will get them in on Sunday, uh, maybe around Sunday afternoon sometime. Uh, oh, how many have you got at the moment in the center? In the mandir, we have about 14, 14 chairs. I, I wonder if that's even that's enough, because if the, uh, the heating and uh, the, and the floor heating is OK, we've got the cushions. Yes. We want to sort of encourage people to sit on the floor as much as possible, um, as long as they're not uncomfortable. Exactly. So, you know, it is for the people who... We need a table for the prasad, yeah. And there's a couple of tables there. Tables are there. We have two tables okay. in the mandir. Yeah, Anwar, we can see your screen now. Anil, why you're on mute if you're talking? Uh, I did join the computer audio. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Sorry. So the first slide here just uh, shows the, the the donations to date. I just wanted to just quickly show everybody the, this picture. This is uh, as of this morning. Uh, um, so right up to date, uh, we now have had donations of two thousand and forty-three pounds since we started, and that includes the the, the kickoff cash from the Janmashtami function of of nine hundred and eighty-seven pounds. So, yeah, it might be a bit more because uh, we've now banked the. Yeah, yesterday I banked. Uh, um... Uh, just over about 220 pounds. I'll give you the exact, I'll uh, text you the exact figure. Fine, yeah, thank uh, you. Yeah, th this is from the um, uh, Gopal Swing. Donation yes, yeah. the okay. So back to what, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, Anil, just send me this information so I make sure Yeah. I segregate this. Uh, I'm, I'm already segregating it, but I just want to make sure we tie up together. Yeah, no, I'll send you this. I'll, because I'll, there's I'll, also some donations which come in uh, on a monthly basis, straight into the account, which actually are... For the Monday. For, I've segregated them for the Monday. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so, so yeah, if, if you let me know those numbers, then I, then I can add it to the overall picture here. But I'll send you this after, after the meeting. And I've already, by the way, I've already spent all of this. Uh, just to <laughs> I bet, I'm sure, I'm sure you have. <laughs> you <know. laughs> Apologies. Anil, by, uh, does this calculation include gift aid? Or no. Because no, this, this is all cash. Yeah, no gift aid. This, this is all cash. So, we, I mean, we, can, we can gift aid with cash, but that means you have to give out receipts, and no one's there to do that on a on a daily basis to give people a receipt and so on. Mm, no, I'm just wondering. We are we are losing gift aid. Um, is there a is there a provision that we can tap into for that? Not from this method. Not from the cash donations, unless someone is sitting there giving receipts, which. You know, when people just drop something into a box, they don't want to then sit down and have to fill in a receipt normally. If it's if it's going to be done through sum up or something, there might be it might be possible, right, uh, Prabhuji? Even that, um, if they give the details and then we have to try to make sure they sign the form. Yeah. Even that's a little tricky uh, unless we know them. Yeah. Can one of us not do that? You have the address and everything. You mean pay through our account? Yes. It's possible. Uh, let's discuss that offline. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So then um, when this side is where we started thinking about uh, 
how we should charge for various different types of events. And I'm also going to be following up with Ashwin by about what they do in Crawley, because I think they've got a bit more of a model there. Uh, obviously, there's things that they can do that we can't do just because of the size of their um, premises. But we picked a couple of the headings that they use anyway on, on here. So like religious events, mm -hmm. yoga and education, that's straight from the Crawley um, model. Mm -hmm. um, so what with the religious events, we were speaking of a charge of around £50 for anyone who wants to hire for doing things like yoga and education or, or, or you know, similar types of activities. We think we'd rent out for £15 per hour. For private functions, things like, you know, garbars and similar, uh, £25 per, per hour higher charge. And if we want anything for elder citizens meetings, the, a lower rate, £10 per hour for them to use of the, uh, the Munda. And I can't imagine that their meetings would be longer than an hour. So £10 or something seemed quite reasonable there. The price does not include facades, which um, you know would be additional and are either brought by the by the person themselves. But we also need to collect a deposit in case of any additional cleaning or breakages that happen during the hire. Mm -hmm. So fifty pounds was the figure that we thought now, and I'd be interested to see if people think that's too high or too low. Um, if the hirer wants to make use of the kitchen, then an additional charge of £25 to be applied. And the other point that we wanted to make here was that if the devotee says, all right, I'm arranging a function, but I'm going to give all of the proceeds of my function to the mandir, then we uh, took the view that in that, those cases, we should waive the hire charge completely and accept the donation from the devotee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the last point there, just around if, if, Amara, if Amara just used to preside over the function, any cost in relation to that would be uh, basically between the Hira and the Maharaj, that would not be part of the temple's fee. Mm -hmm. So yeah. thoughts, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it's reasonable what you're, what you're suggesting. One thing uh, which um, I, I agree with you, it's, it sounds reasonable. The, it, the way we first pitched it was that we wanted the community to use this and use it on a free basis. Right? That was before we had all these debts. Now I'm hoping, <laughs> touch wood, um, if we can clear the debts in the next few months, I would, I, I mean, I, I, this decision is up to the committee. I'm just telling you what, how we pitched it right at the beginning and what the, the vision was then. Yeah. And I'm happy to change the vision. I, I'm happy for the committee to change the vision. It doesn't matter. I, I'm not uh, really hung up on this vision. But I, what I wanted to see was the community to give them this opportunity free of charge, first come, first serve basis whoever wants to use it, apart from a deposit for the cleanliness, uh, because that's important. But otherwise, no charge whatsoever. And it, we would just set such a tone um, that, look, we can actually use this. This is a, really is a community hall. We can use it as we want. Um, but as I said, that's after all the debts get cleared, because my vision was that there won't, would be no debts in the first place. But of course, we've ended up with huge debt. Something to think about if you want in the future. Yeah, I think, yeah, we can revisit that once we're in a position that we... Correct. And, and we feel that we're getting sufficient donations yeah. from other sources. Yeah. I, mean, I think these charges are pretty nominal it, anyway and people yeah, reasonable, reasonable. are used to you know if you hire a venue they're, they're probably used to paying a lot more than than we're seeing here and if this helps us cover our costs because obviously there's heating and and yeah. all of that which which gets incurred then uh, yeah i think i think it may be useful to carry on with because i think once we started then it sort of like becomes normal so 
But I think we can review it. Let's let's get that debt cleared and then we can talk about it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, completely, completely agree, uh, Prabhu, what you said, and that vision, I think it resonates, um, you know, with, with 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 what we want, you know, as a community, for them to have a place of worship, a place of, uh, you know, which gives them, you know, free access uh, in a responsible manner. Uh, but at the moment, of course, you know, our mm-hmm. finances require this. And maybe, yeah. you know, uh, at, a, at a future point in time, as we also learn what our cost, like, for example, you know, what mm-hmm. I saw in Crawley Mandir, they publish like this Mandir costs something 250 or 300 pounds every day to run, right? We yeah. will also arrive at that number, you know, as we, as we get, you know, uh, uh, get through some time. Yeah. And we'll get an idea of expenses. These are, you know, donations that Anil Bhai summarized, uh, but we also have expenses which are not yeah. here. And um, we will we will talk about those. And once exactly. we are in a steady state, so-called steady state, which will hopefully, you know, whenever it comes, um, we can move this to a voluntary donation model rather than a higher charges model, right? Where it is completely voluntary for people to donate something, right? Towards yeah. the mandir. Makes to sense. something that completely becomes free, right? Uh, later as well. So, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. It's something we can head towards in the future. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I guess we also need to think about once the debts are cleared. I mean, I think we have plans as well to uh, develop the back of the the site. Yeah. We will need to think about funding for that too. True. 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 Yeah, and one of the things I was thinking about is you know having big sponsorship ideas right which i think devotees will like you know adding like uh, you know for example uh, of course we can fund it through the money that we have like the sign that is coming up for the mandir which we spoke about in the beginning of the meeting maybe somebody wants to sponsor that the the seating you know arrangement the permanent seating arrangement that we are going to do on the side walls of the mandir maybe somebody wants to sponsor that mm. Yeah. Those those some yeah. things which we could put forward to devotees uh, if they would like to sponsor and similar to yeah. Navi Prabhu, think, the... yes, actually by a Diwali when we make that sort of announcement uh, or that that I think that you talked about speaking about um, live and then about the mandir and and so on that yeah. sounds like the perfect opportunity if we come up with a list of things which could be sponsored then yeah. we can say it actually at the Diwali event mm. and yeah. um, hopefully we'll get you know people open their checkbooks and you know and step forward mm-hmm. good idea good idea Anil Bhai and I think we will we will add that and um, you know and some of these things are imminent uh, you know which would be significant expenses you know from a mandir you know perspective and we can put this out immediate as immediate op- sponsorship opportunities the for the mandir right and we can prepare a list uh, of things that we can put in that um, uh, in that session in the diwali in diwali session the 15 minutes in which we will talk about this and just coming back to the uh, point about gift aid the things like that it's easier to to arrange the gift aid piece um with, with those type of sponsorship donations then with it like people dropping cash in the box yeah no that's a great idea um i totally agree um and then by just one question on the charges yeah uh, i'm more interested in the kitchen charge mm-hmm. my my worry is that with the prices of energy shooting up so much mm-hmm. you know if somebody comes in and he's cooking the meal there mm-hmm. For religious events and all of that, that's going to be quite steep in terms of the the bill. Um, because I I know this because you know uh, usually if you use your heating and gas and oven, your your cost is probably going to be you know you're going to consume that twenty five bucks very very easily. I don't know how, can we make it one hour per hour or? We, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a just to figure that Sachin Bhai and I thought sounded reasonable. We, we have no, no sort of, of scientific or logical basis to that figure. So if that figure should be higher, 
we make it higher yeah i just feel you know if we can make it per hour yeah uh, you know not a flat 25 pound yeah 25 pound uh, per hour so if do yeah if that yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's gonna make it's we, we we absolutely want people to use the facility, but not abuse it. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, I'm I'm okay with that. Is uh, is uh, uh, Sachin Bhai you okay? And everyone? No, I think that's a great that's a great point. Um, Rajiv Bhai brings up and. Uh, we should yeah, uh, I think that's a really good point. But the only thing is, so are we saying per hour that will be for the if, how many hours the event is being booked for? Because otherwise, it will be very difficult to know how many hours the kitchen has been used. Somebody might just say, oh, I used it for half an hour for a three yeah. hour event, but they be using it for three hours altogether. So I think we could just say that uh, event, wherever we put like 15, uh, 15 pounds per hour or something plus this many per hour for kitchen. If it is kitchen use, then it will be that much that many uh, per hour. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I know. So we could say, like uh, for example, if we look at one of this, like the private function charge, twenty five per hour for the hall. If you want to use the the kitchen, that's an additional twenty five pounds per hour for the time that of the you know, for the time of the hire something like that yeah or else we can just say that um just pri private function 25 per hour if kitchen is reused then it will be 50 pounds per hour or something like yeah. that so we don't sort of separate it at all yeah yeah okay yeah we can we can do it we can do it that way can, can yeah. i just check if this kitchen hire facility is if they want to cook there something what if people are bringing in food and just wanting to warm it or something is this still applicable People will ask this question, isn't it? They're still using the energy of the kit of, of, of us to warm. Okay. Uh, uh, just one uh, word of caution, uh, because if you are going to allow the use of kitchen, uh, we do not have extractor in there. And all the oil and everything will spread into the hall, which could damage the uh, decorations and the bas reliefs. So I don't know. Is there any, is, is there a fire extinguisher in the mandir? I don't know. Yeah, there is. There is. Okay. It's, it's highly unlikely that people will be coming in there and cooking, preparing. Yeah, I think most so. people are going to be warming. Yeah. And we can make that. We can say no cooking to be done. Okay, that, yeah, because Manishwa is absolutely right. People start frying puris and, and, uh, other things that that oil if there's no extractor is 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 just going to go everywhere we should actually try to put an extractor in there isn't it yeah i was thinking of the same that you know eventually it should be an, on our building works plan as well to have an extractor in the kitchen um, it's not short term not short term yeah yeah it will be something we should we should we should put it and we should think about. Yeah. So for the time being, if we go the route that they only can use the kitchen for warming, should we make that charge then a bit less? Yeah, that, there was somebody speaking. Maybe the line was not very clear. Um, so maybe we should reduce that uh, amount. I don't know, 25 for only for warming per hour. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. 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 Okay. There you go. Right, so yes. Um, so if, if we reduce that charge for use of the kitchen, if it's for warming only, so what do you think? 15, 10? Oh, then just make it 25 flat. I think for warming. 25 flat. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Usually the venues do have that sort of agreement. If you use the kitchen, it's one off charge. There you go. Okay. 
yeah we can just make a note that this is mainly for warming you know the food right? yeah in that sort of term yeah in, in the booking form and the um risk assessment that could that can be explicitly included that, that this is the use of ki- use of kitchen means um warming storage and warming i guess yeah any other questions on 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 this or no okay i'll sorry, stop just sorry i just sorry to interrupt it just do we have a capacity of people up to what maximum number we can have like the guests for any event yes yes so there is a there is a number um i don't have the exact number top of my head right now but we had done a health and safety mm. you know assessment report in the beginning when the mandir was sort of inaugurated mm. and there is a number i think it's somewhere between 70 uh, something like that i don't remember the exact number but it's around that 70 number so so uh, yeah that's a good point and we should uh, we should include that uh, in the in the terms number of people okay. maximum number of people yes keep some yeah. safety factor and whatever that uh, maximum permissible is uh, keep it a little bit you know lower than that uh, lower than that yeah. Yeah. So just just on that, i mean um uh in terms of coming up with those booking terms and conditions who, who's best suited to run with that? i think the risk assessment we discussed kanchan um would uh, has something that we that that can be used potentially in terms of a booking from who would be best place to come up with that because i i'm not an expert on all of this stuff you know I, i know stuff just from history and common sense but i i wouldn't know everything that we should include no so that form does have it uh, incorporates everything actually what we spoke about so any oh, food really? cooking serving any liquors all that sort of obviously it's mandir not but this it has <laughs> all those ticks uh, we have to <laughs> tick basically how many people coming in disability yeah. access do we need fire exits how many exits first aid all these points are covered in that form so okay. as the questions can... are very much related to that so brilliant so we just need yeah. to add in the charges i guess is that would that be right yeah and and adding to that obviously it's first come first serve basis we will have a standard email address people will be requesting this i guess um um the slots as they need and yeah. um how are we we going to decide like a religious for example i'm saying religious event um how are we going to are we going to go into discussion with what sort of event it is you are organizing so you know kind of are we going to ask them or yeah or do we do we or do we provide like a some sort of um tick box uh with the cover different events i don't know what, what yeah so i think we we can tweak that template into our into something we want to have a tick box something religious so we can ask a line right line what sort of a religious event it is it is something namkaran or mundan or you know like sort of satnarayan yeah. puja or something and then it would be easy for a committee or whoever is going to decide it would be easy for them because we don't want a person and we don't have a person continuously i guess i i'm not too sure have we allocated a person for this sort of going forward that who is going to look into this or uh, it can be overwhelming if it is so less or really reasonable charges it can be overwhelming response we might receive from the community so 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 sorry can you see from a the event detail maybe in that form you can ask the, the devotees to describe the nature of the event right like a single in two or three sentences something like that correct yeah and uh, and that should sort of give us an idea of what they what they want to do um but, but sorry when you say overwhelming response in what sense uh, kind of I, once I'm... we start publishing this as this place is available for hiring and yeah. when we i guess the plan is that you put up the charges as well for something or if somebody is inquiring it so it is reasonable yeah venue at the moment is really hard to get access to venues um so people will be and if it is at the temple i would personally feel you know that i should held a satyanarayan puja in the temple rather than xyz venue 
So in that sense, you might get a request for certain days, a couple of more people. So are we going, is it going to a person at the moment and how that, that whoever is that be, that person don't need to spend more time. I'm just looking into that. Okay, this form is filled in. This is all tick boxes. Okay, fine. First come for services, you know. Um, so it's simplifying the process for for anybody who is going to look after this uh, bookings, basically. Yeah. No, to be honest, I don't think we have thought about it too much. Um, so, but that's a good point, Kanjana. We have to think about it. Who will... Um sort of monitor these requests so there'll be an email inbox we have email addresses that uh, that are you know set up for the mandir there are some you know, teething issues on that email uh, which we will need to resolve uh, manish bhai but uh, but it's a good point in terms of who will look at scheduling conflicts for example if there are requests for the similar day or the same slot mm. so so we will have to set up a small group that will look after that and even obviously... the website, sorry, sorry, such to disturb you. Uh, even the website, hopefully, we'll have it interactive so that uh, if people book, if, mm. if it's booked, then you just can't book it, you know. Mm. So. It would be maybe uh, having a calendar, events calendar on the website, yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. that which dates are available and which dates are fully. Uh, when I looked at, you know, and uh, you know, when Anil Bhai and I were talking about this, uh, you know, I looked at the Crawley Mandir website also. So Crawley Mandir website, at least, uh, you know, we will we will check with Ashwin Bhai about this also. But uh, Crawley Mandir website has a phone number to call to make the booking, right? Right. Um, so we will we will see. And I have been investigating the possibility of a phone in the Mandir because uh, in terms of contacts we don't yet have a phone number uh, we have an email address um, so i'm i'm trying to figure out if we can get a phone at the mandir also so who will manage huh? um, yeah how can we divert it to a mobile app? yeah because i think i think email works because it will it will hit someone's box and they'll respond if i mean, it, I mean there may be good reason other reasons to have a phone at the mandir but in terms of this booking process if Given that the, there's not someone there all the time, yeah, yeah, it, it may just you know, it would just be a set of recorded messages that someone will then have to access and pick up. Yeah, we will we will have to have some some sort of a diverting mechanism where the calls are diverted to a mobile or something like that, right? Um, uh, we will we will see, and I agree, Anil So we haven't really gone into details yeah. of how the number will be used, you know, in and maybe bookings you know we don't publish it to begin with we only have email addresses but this is one process uh, of booking management uh, which will need to have an online interface and somebody to sort of approve the booking yeah, request. So, yeah we need someone to, so who, that, who can take ownership of being the administrator of this and like you know approving the bookings um managing conflicts and making sure that the risk assessment has been properly completed and uh, both parties have signed that all of that type of thing so um as I, said, I don't have the time to do that for sure and i'm sure many others on this call do, uh, also wouldn't necessarily have the time so we we need to either allocate someone or try and share it between us Agree, agree. That is something we will have to come up with. We will probably not. Uh, let's let's discuss that offline, and yeah. we have to have like a rotating responsibility among the committee members for a period of time, so that uh, it is not on one person at all. You know, I agree with that. So we will have to find a way on how we manage yeah. that, right? And and uh, other thing, uh, moving to the next stage. You know, once the. Uh, uh, hall or the mandir has been rented out we will probably need somebody to oversee the event from our side you know so so that there is no abuse of the system and in any case we need to make sure people are able to enter and exit the uh, temple you know at the open and at after finishing of the so it's it, 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 it's going to be a more involved process from our side yeah yeah so that will that is a process that we will need to document and uh, see uh, mm -hmm. which will accompany this mandir rental you know this is a financial proposal this is not an operational proposal 
right yeah so, so yeah. this financial proposal is this we will obviously think about it and we will agree today is the first draft right and then there is an operational proposal of how this will be managed operationally like like you know all of us are talking about different aspects of it there is uh, there is a need to write that down and be clear of how uh, and who will monitor you know from booking to uh, uh, you know actual execution of the event and then uh, checking that post event everything is uh, exactly the way it was before the event right so, uh, so that entire no, uh, is it, sorry uh, do you know if uh, crawley temple has some kind of a rule book that we could use as a template i'm sure they do i'm sure they do uh, we will we will ask um, you know ashwin bhai about that yeah uh, yeah we we we'll, we'll, we'll reach out to ashwin bhai we'll ask him about you know that also just whether well, our financial proposal sort of makes sense as well so i think we should do that but i was also thinking that maybe we should have a subcommittee to work on this yeah and uh, on the financial side uh, as the booking uh, i mean somebody who wants to book it then there has to be some deposit that should be given immediately so i think we should highlight that also that yes. initial deposit would be this much for booking otherwise people just book and not to not take that slot non refundable deposit uh, non refundable it should be actually that's separate to the deposit we're talking about here which is uh, really for um you know, for to cover breakages and stuff yeah like. that yeah that is different i suppose and the one that will be like if the religious event we are doing 50 pounds so we have to say 25 pounds have to be paid up front and which will be non refundable if you are booking the slot yeah non refundable right we said and we will need to come up with an operational proposal as well yeah yeah that's why i said we could probably have a, a sub committee who can work on both aspects they yeah. come back at the next i i go the next or the one after committee meeting with a with a full proposal absolutely absolutely so i don't i don't know who wants, i mean i i don't mind mind obviously as the finance guy i i I'm happy to be part of that subcommittee and I think um obviously yourself such in by but Manish by would you would you I think you would be well suited given your operational role with the Munda to join that subcommittee uh, uh well uh, it's, it's 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 difficult with all the work, uh, you know office work I'll, I'll try to contribute as much as I can it's uh Le, 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 uh, let's tell up the plan first and then we decide uh, on the memberships yeah so it's really just to get the proposal together that that it's not going to be an ongoing role. yeah yeah uh, le, le, uh, let's put the proposal together and then we'll decide you know how how we're going to run that it, it might be worth a uh, purview Uh, the company we're using in India, who's doing the website, so at some point we can include them in in this, uh, you know, like in this in these discussion. meeting discussions, so that they can set it. They they can guide how to set it up uh, through the website, and even the deposit can be paid through the website. Yeah, that would be good. So, um, I think perhaps a little bit further down the road, but they can definitely be involved. sure so we can um, i'll by that subcommittee is a good idea and uh, and we can also maybe seek uh, some members uh, who want to join offline right as well and see yeah. you know who can contribute to this uh, anyone who's got experience in this type of thing i think would be really useful yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay 
so so we will leave this in a draft state for today this is not a you know proposal but at least there have been some good inputs and everybody in the committee has had a chance to look at this which is very good and we will try and baseline this uh, hopefully in the in the next meeting so that we can put some of these things out there depending on how much time it takes for us to um, like tabi prabhu said online also you know how do we how do we bring that in um so so maybe with alok who's not here today in this meeting but uh, with alok's input also we can we can have um, alok who's looking after a lot of these tech stuff right anil bhai and we can get uh, yeah. that conversation with parview as well on how oh, you this. you're right uh, you're absolutely right sachin uh, alok will be the link between uh, uh, us and parview well done very good so we will uh, we will reach out to him as well anil bhai for this and alok might be a good member to be in the subcommittee as well yes sir yes yeah, definitely okay wonderful so i guess uh, that's quite a bit that we've covered almost uh, uh, what 1 hour and 45 minutes today so thank you to everyone uh, are there any other items that we need to cover great wonderful so have a good friday night and uh, we'll see you in the mandir during the weekend yes hopefully sunday everybody will be there yes. sunday everybody will be there and sunday. those of you who can make the hanuman chalisa is absolutely brilliant tomorrow oh yeah kesh bhai leads it uh, i will be there and those of you who can make it should join it's amazing sorry just one quick question sachin for yeah. sunday is is do we have enough plates and uh, oh, yeah. spoons and glasses that's a good question uh, can i respond to that tomorrow uh, when yeah, i get yeah, have a look yeah. and I'll then look. let me yes when others i'll there. i'll uh, work something out sure i'll take a look when i go there and i'll let thank you know you. Yeah. fantastic thank you so much everybody thank, thank you hari krishna hari hari krishna everyone thank you thank, thank you good night thank you hari krishna Hare Krishna